Tapped in exclusive. We are the internet, bitch. And why everybody Damn. hitting on the stocks right now? Like potato stocks and shit. What, what do you mean? Potato, Explain. Like, elaborate. Like, agriculture? Yeah, oh, agriculture. Okay. Yeah. Because they stay steady. So it's automatic. Wow. You know what I mean? It's like, think of how many things are potatoes, really, that you eat in real life. Like french fries. Everything is potato potatoes. Potato chips, nigga. <laughs> yeah, tater good. tots. Nigga, potato no wedges, potatoes. <laughs> mashed potatoes, baked potatoes. Nigga, there's a lot of potatoes. So if anybody's trying to and get And then the oil, too. Stock, yeah, it's everything, bro. So if anybody wants to start somewhere, start with some potatoes. Thanks Damn. for the advice because I've been look, I've been wanting to buy some socks. And I was, uh, Gap. Gap? Oh. Yeah, because Kanye just got that little deal with them. The about easy the thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Gap. Mm. Damn, we're like... We're giving people too much advice. Yo, wait, wait, heavy G. Don't give everyone your advice. Yeah, I, All right, Kev. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm be quiet for the <laughs> Top 10 Podcast. Oh. <laughs> I'm your host, Kevin Melody, joined today by Juju and my favorite color. Hello. Hello. Now, hey. what's your real name? Uh, Willis. Willis. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, my real name's Anthony, but everybody calls me Willis. Oh, well, uh, based on what? My last name's Willis. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So they're just like, yo, I kind of fuck Willis. My last name. Willis is a fire name. Yeah, that's yeah. what everybody calls me. Yeah. That's sick it's as fuck. Willis. Yeah. Where did uh, my favorite color come from? Um, shit, bro. It was just on some shit. Like, I feel like making your own style is like creating a color you've never seen before. Like, oh, shit, without okay. the help of any color. Like, imagine right. coming up with a color you've never seen before. That you know doesn't I mean? so, exist. Yeah. Yeah. So one day I was making music, and I'm like, oh shit. This is like some shit I've never seen before. It's my favorite color. <laughs> this is original, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, that's exactly. I'm my favorite color. I <laughs> fuck with that actually. Yeah, In the cool. words of Gabe, no cap. That's the first thing I thought about earlier when I heard your name. I was like, what does that mean? And I was like, <laughs> probably some shit that you never heard, like never seen before. Like never seen before. And if someone's racist, they'll just fuck with me by default type shit by saying my name. Like I'm automatically everyone's favorite color type shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's actually a funny way to look at it. I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Trick. Damn. Yeah, you know, that's what's cool about the name is that you can, like, really over-analyze <laughs> yeah, it. Like, like, and it can be me, super simple. You'll be uh, like, yeah. Yeah. You'll you'll be like yo, did shit. you hear my favorite color? Yeah. Like, some girl, and she's like, blue? And you're what? like, no, um, <laughs> no. It's, it's actually my favorite color. It's not color. blue. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's deep, bro. It Damn. Like deep. That's crazy. That's crazy. Did you... So, my favorite color came spontaneously you know in a session or whatever but did you like did you have a like a rap name prior did you have a performing name prior? i had i never had a performing name right because i just started performing like two years ago okay but um i was always like going through shit you know right. like all, all types of stupid ass trial and error shit <laughs> yeah. that i won't i don't even want to bring up like, there's, <laughs> Get into there's it. so That's many cool. weak ass names you know right. what i mean so right I found my favorite color, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. If someone doesn't want to say the whole thing, they'll call me MFC or some shit. You know what I mean? Oh, like, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's just fun, bro. It was Damn. just hella easy. I didn't even think about it. Hella different. Nobody had the name on Spotify. Boom, that's it. Wow. Yeah, so my favorite color. He did color his research. Yeah. yeah. MFC, that's pretty. I like yeah, the acronym. That's fire. MF color. Wow, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, crazy. Motherfucking color. Yeah, right. Yeah. Get Samuel Jackson to say that shit. Hell yeah. that will be I'll be a crazy. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. For sure. I think I, dude, at six. What were you doing? What were you doing at six? Probably I was. I thought I was like fake uh, break dancer, Michael Jackson type. At six, I had that yeah. era too. Though, I bro. thought I was like I really used to be like on some. I thought I could do a head spin type shit, but really I did not know the strength it took to really pull off a head spin. Oh. I was in that motherfucker capping like on some. Uh, <laughs> you what was the movie with Nick Cannon and Christina Milian? Uh, love don't cost yeah, a thing. Cost Remember him? when he came up with that dance move? <laughs> that chop, chop. That was me and that was yeah. going crazy. Oh, <laughs> God. Crazy. That was me. That's funny. That's I, funny. No, the only, the only reason I ask is, like, I'm pretty sure I was, like, stealing lighters at six. Like, I wasn't concerned about credit. No, nah, yeah, yeah. So that's, like, incredible. That you, like, yeah, yeah. At, me, like, at, like, the, at the end of the day, like, there were definitely more things I was concerned about. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, I, well, I don't I think like, you were just walking yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't, like, I wasn't, like, fuck Asking score. people what's their Yeah, like, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't, like, credit karma at, like, the age of seven or nothing. Yeah. But it's, like, Lexington if you wanted Law, to know, I, I knew you. a little bit. I knew a little bit of something, but... 
Yeah. I fuck with the sandbox too. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I got ringworm. And you had a child. Shit. You had a child. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, so. That's cool. So yeah, yeah. Shit was cool. Yeah. So I want to ask how that transition go. Like, how'd you go from you know reading credit reports and getting <laughs> negative marks <laughs> off the record to I'm like gonna, making I'm music? Gonna, I'm gonna put it on wax now. I was not reading. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? My, like, my dad would try to kick game, but like I would listen a little bit yeah. and yeah. learn a little bit, but it wasn't my main. <laughs> yeah, right. So how'd you go? How'd you go from like oh, basically like basically how'd you get into music? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, bankruptcy to bars. Yeah. How did you do? Wow. That? Shit, man. Um, <laughs> Mixtape on the way. Whenever, <laughs> whenever it comes to music, uh, I I was always fucking with music just because my mom, like in the household, you know, like cliche, cliche, stereotypical single black mom playing hella Erica Badu and Some stuff. Jill Scott <laughs> and shit. That's, 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 that's shit. incredible yeah. music, though. Yeah, it's very incredible music. And you Lauren know, Hill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that Mrs. the Mrs. Kate. Kate. Jerry. <laughs> oh, 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 you already know, bro. Like, <laughs> that's that black mama. Yes, yes, <laughs> bro. So that, that was playing every fucking second of the day. So Big I'm facts. like, what's this shit? You know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, well, this is music. This is Neo Soul. This is that. This is right. this. And I'm like, that's dope. So I started writing my own shit. And like, I started out as like poetry. You know what I mean? And that's fire. I, I thought that shit was super cool. And like, I would read it. To it girls is cool. And they would like it and shit. You know that's fire. I mean? wow. Yeah. And then, it takes um, a different. So it was like a ploy yeah, to get yeah, women after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I feel nah, that. No, nah, I feel that. Yeah, yeah. I started out with poetry and then um, just worked my way up right. to music. But yeah, man, it was rough. Like, I, I had like a MySpace music page and shit. Wow. Fire. But, but Shout out MySpace no, music. Yeah, Put a lot of niggas on. Yeah, Put a lot of niggas on. Shout out to MySpace music. Put a lot of niggas on. Some people yeah, who yeah. made it through the trenches actually have money now. Yeah. Some people got found there and now yes. are actually stars. But that that was like the jerking era, you know what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> yeah, Big yeah. Fact. We know I, about that. So yeah, my music was totally different, you know what I'm saying? But it was weird because I ain't have no producers or nothing. I ain't have a studio or nothing. So it was like strictly YouTube type beats and shit. Like so wow. I just figured out what a YouTube type. I mean, what a <laughs> YouTube type. What a YouTube. My little brothers yeah, put yeah. me on. Whatever. Like, I put that YouTube Big type. type beats. You yeah. know what I mean, but the problem <laughs> was I didn't have a studio to go to or nothing. So, How was you recording this bro, shit, bro? Listen, this shit was trash. Bro. <laughs> All right, so I had an MP3 player, right? Mm -hmm. And it had a record button, so oh. I would hit record on that bitch. And played a beat from YouTube and rap over it, like on some one take shit. And then upload it. And upload oh. it. And you'll hear the static in the background and shit. That's but I had a little fan base. <laughs> you know that what I mean? shit's I, hard. Yeah, like fucking, yeah. I don't know, like 500 friends. Or oh, that's, shit. That's, that's it felt cool. like a fan base, though. Yeah. But that's, yeah probably more, that's probably more actual friends than I had on MySpace. So that's Yeah, that's yeah. Fire. Shit, shit was cool, man. And yeah, I would make music about, like, I don't know, Cheetos and tight jeans and shit. <laughs> And like, yeah, it was cool. That's fucking fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Had, I had a Turquoise lot of Turquoise jeans, it. niggas was Turquoise like jeans, Velados, and flannels. Nigga. What's like, a Velado? It's a shoe, bro. Like that was the jerk shoe, bro. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, like like that the was jerk it. starter pack. Yes, to, okay. like basically like, and a spike belt. I see. Yeah, yeah. The studded belt. The studded belt was. Um, I seen some niggas get their ass foot with some studded belts <laughs> though. It happened, bro. The yeah. Wrong nigga said the wrong thing. You take yeah. it like, off and fucking. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, real shit, nigga. That was the starter pack. I had the Velados on with um, tight ass jeans, you know, yeah. uh, blue, red. I had colors, flavors, yeah, you flavors. know, colors yeah. that ain't even on a rainbow, you know, and a fucking flannel and a beanie. If it even if it's 120 degrees out this <laughs> you bitch, got to have one. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I just be jerking and shit. And I knew I had the jerk because. I was talking to this girl and I'm like, "Can I get your number?" And she's like, "Do you even jerk?" So that was. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Do you even jerk? Do you even jerk? R.I.P. Yes. Yeah, so right. that, that was around the time I was like, "Yeah, I gotta jerk." Like, so, I gotta get the jerk. So I started <laughs> jerking. I got hella good at it. God and damn. I moved to Pittsburgh. Everybody, was that everybody's jerking? And I'm they like, was jerking in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, that's crazy because I'm already a master. Of this Holy shit. shit! You must have showed up so. Shout out to the yeah, jerk. They were like, yo, this nigga's cool. As fuck. He's jerking. He's from L. A. Yeah, yeah. He so fucking, he's just, the home of the yeah, jerk, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 he yeah, stole yeah. everyone's gold. Exactly. Yeah. So off top, I was pretty fucking cool because I was jerking. So to this day, I would say jerking made me a cool nigga. So <laughs> yeah, shout dude. out to jerk it. We jerk uh, made him. We actually had an interview where somebody who was who. 
where it's in like the jerk Audio scene. Bush. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah exactly. Bro, so you like, should look up them niggas. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fact, they was they, they was like they was like the jerk, but they had basically gave us a breakdown on just like jerk history and mm. crumping and all that shit. You know, just it's from, it's not a it's not a joke. No, like, it, it's, it was it's a, a real serious, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. There was like, like gang members in that shit. Yeah, yeah. that's what he that's no, what he was basically saying. All the killers, all the killers was dancers. That's what they said. It was some real shit. You can get a buck and a shot, yes. like a little one. Yes. Wow. Nigga, just like that. Wow. Yeah. That's it, what I'm saying. Exactly. It's, it's not, you know, it's 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 real <laughs> shit. Like, <Period>. oh, shit. <laughs> well, the thing is, it, it's funny you say that, you know, you kind of started with poetry mm. and then it kind of evolved <laughs> from there. But I will say one of the coolest things about your music, like I, I, um, I listen to Funeral mm-hmm. and Funeral is extremely poetic. Uh, and I don't know whether or not it's like a conscious decision on your part, uh-huh. but your music happens to come off as like extremely poetic to me. Yeah, that's dope. You say that because funeral. I wrote that like without a beat. Right. Yeah, like the beat got built around me around after your I brought it writing. To the producers. Yeah. Right. So yeah, uh, yeah. I just woke up one day like yo, I feel like dying, and I just right. wrote that shit. You it know was. What it, I mean? so, it's sick. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. But it. Definitely. But I can tell even like your writing style like mm-hmm. comes across. As more poetic than anything, Definitely. and it's uh, it's sick. That's what I think actually is like a standout about it. For sure, you know. Did yeah, you feel better after you wrote the song? You said that you woke up and you felt like dying because I feel like that's a good way to channel that energy because mm. positively. A lot of people say that they don't get like, oh, I'm, not, you know, I'm too, I'm too lit to ever <laughs> get like, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> ever no, no, I ain't too lit for that. No, shit. no, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. always <laughs> sad. When all, when all that shit is done and you sitting there by yourself, you be like, damn, this shit is actually. Like, damn, a little bit life like, ain't that dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little, it's a little intense right now. Like, I'm gonna get that tatted on my fucking yeah, head. Life ain't, <laughs> life that ain't dope. that it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, but yeah, um, I wouldn't say felt better exactly, but it's more like releasing something that was in me, like a version of counseling myself, right? Kind of, um. It definitely music in general just helps me like heal and face my demons in general. So it's just great to put it on paper, and it's even better whenever people hear it and can relate to it. Better than me, man. I just blame it on Instagram. I'm like, fuck Instagram. Hey, it's bro, making lock, me lock sad. out of that shit, bro. <laughs> it's Over, me overexposed mad. to yeah, the just, flexing. You gotta get the, the phone he got. It's all because <laughs> of social media. <laughs> no cat. No, True. Yeah. True. No, it, but that's a uh, uh, but. Poetry and all that shit is a good way to express yourself. I was gonna ask you, did you ever go to like a a poetry place? Where did where do poets go to hang out? Like, do um, they go to book, book open stores? mics? Yeah, there's all types of like open mics. Well, is it like yeah. is there like a, a poetry like community like where yeah they got poetry <laughs> coffee <laughs> shops? Bro, poets take this shit serious too. It's like, like a poet real. game. I know some poets who like, thou shall now. I know some poets who They'll like, wash you, dude. Yeah. Really stretch your like, collar <laughs> all type shit over this. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> don't, like, be, <laughs> don't be plagiarizing. Yeah, my like shit. nigga, watch how you talk about these niggas. Nah, for real though. Um, I never been to any poetry shit out in LA because I got more into it in Pittsburgh. But right. um, yeah, I went to a lot of places in Pittsburgh like for poetry. They had dope ass poetry nights. Um, there's this place called Spirit. Um, they did this thing at this place called the V Lounge. And it's just where like poets and even rappers would just come and like do some acapella shit and, you know, get some reactions to it. So yeah, I would go there a lot before I even recorded music just to see if people were fucking with my poems. Because if they were fucking with my poems, then I'm like, yeah, they'll probably fuck with my music. And that's like what happened. <laughs> oh, that's fire. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Sure. Do you have the wheel under there? I do. Actually, we want to um, introduce something called the tapped in wheel. Hold on, where is it? Oh, I got it. No, can't. Look, you tried to set me up. Oh, display that. Okay, <laughs> so look, we have the tapped in wheel, right? We're gonna have you spin it. So, boom, check it out. We're gonna show it to the camera. Bow, y'all. Tapped I'm gonna in put wheel. it right here. We're gonna have you spin it. So basically, on this wheel. There's a couple different things. There is a video reaction that will pull up right there if it lands on it. There's a copper drop. We'll ask you if you're fucking with whatever we pull up, or whatever. Spinning in, obviously, your top three. You know what I mean? You, it's self-explanatory. You got it? Gotcha, yeah. And you get uh, three spins. And then shit grub is uh, something 
some rare snacks that our producer Gabe collects on the dark web. Shout okay. out. I'm not not actually Shout the dark web. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But like on the on the I web. I believe you too. You know the dark. You yeah, the dark way. Might as well. Yeah, yeah, he got his VPN booming now. Shout out to the VPNs <laughs> across VPN. the world. Yeah, Big VPN. Big VPN searchers. Yeah, sure. Anyway, we're going to have you spin. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Are you ready? Yeah, you ready. Go ahead. Spin it. Spin <laughs> it. Right, no cap. Right. Go ahead. Spin again. There you oh, go. I knew I was going to get that, too. That's crazy. I was like, yo, I want spin again for real. Manifestation. Dude, do you still got Hennessy or something? I do. Hold on. <laughs> Would you rather... Oh. Hold on, Kev got the would you rather <clears throat> And his handy dandy Beautiful I'm Like Steve from Blue's Clues <laughs> Steve was that nigga, no lie I really, I thought he kept it cool But now I'm older, he was probably on, off of perks Cause he had like the dark <laughs> eyes He had like <laughs> He had like the dark circles under his eyes and shit Y'all yeah. <laughs> What well, you think dope. that nigga's doing right you now? Think, oh, but, okay, but I, I don't mean, do you, this exact moment. Not even like what's he got going on. I mean, snorting. Right, right, I wonder if he still right. paid off of that shit. Hell yeah, he still paid off of that shit. <laughs> he was probably typecaster where he could never do anything else. <clears throat> still be paid off of that shit. I hope he is. He was probably only getting paid like forty racks. You know, back then niggas was getting hit for the that love. That was a lot back then. Though. Big facts. I mean, like rent in L.A. was probably like eight hundred dollars. Yeah, eight hundred for like a two bedroom in yeah, Studio yeah, City. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And now it's considered. In Studio City. That's fair. All right, okay. I'm sorry. Would you rather have more time or money? Mm. Not to get philosophical, but you know. I hate this question. Because <laughs> rich niggas be like, I'd rather have a better question. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, uh, what drugs is Steve from Blues Clues doing? There's a better question. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a way better question. Man, it's hard for me because whenever it comes to time, I feel like time is like. It's going to sound super weird, and I'm drunk, so it's about to sound crazy. It's about to sound everywhere, Tell but look, listen, just try your hardest to really, like, follow me and we shit. Listen I'm going to get on your level right now. <sighs> Fuck, man. On How to, hold on. <laughs> Pour it up. Here we go. He's about to say, like, time's not real. Yeah, give me I already shit. know it. He's on his Elon Musk shit on his AEX time is backwards. type shit. Shout out to my nigga Lon Lon. He might. Lon Lon, whoever that is. That's a fire name. I wish. <laughs> I I mean, that's Elon Musk, nigga. Oh, Lon Lon. <laughs> I know that nigga person. <laughs> Fuck no, I don't know that nigga. But Shut up, la, la. whenever it comes to time, I do feel like time is hella temporary. Right. Because everybody dies. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, okay, you can have all the fucking time in the world, but at the end of the day, if you're not gonna be that nigga, you're never gonna be that nigga. But Whoa. there's also the other side of the spectrum where it's like if you do really want to become that nigga, it is possible, but it's only possible if you are that nigga. You know what I mean? But whenever it comes to having a lot of money, I right. feel like money is, quote unquote, the root of all evil. Right. But the problem is evil's perception. Right. So you never even know what the fuck evil really is because it's right. yin and yang. Both are evil and both are very good. Right. So time and money are legitimately the same thing. People just don't understand that. Right. Because they're both ideas. They're right. both just perceptions right. and false realities. Right. Because you can have all the fucking money in the world and still not be rich. And right. you can have all the time in the world and still be impatient. Yeah. So and still be like no shit. And yeah. So like fuck both of those things. Wow. That's that was the best answer. Time, and, ever time and money is the same thing. That's, yeah. I don't know if that's cap or no cap. I'm so confused. No cap. I have to, I have to think <laughs> no about cap. this. Look, man. Watch that bag. Listen to it eight times. <laughs> it, it's some real shit. For real. That's real this shit. Is deep. Yeah, bro. Well, go ahead. Spin. Spin again. You get two more. Shit. Let's get it. Uh, two more. Yeah. You trying to get nigga mad spin. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Top, top three, three artists, alive. dead or alive. Dude, what the hell? If you were stuck on if you were stuck on an island oh my God. and you had That's three nuts. It's <laughs> worse and you had and you had three people to listen to. Fuck, dude. That's crazy. Um Cause I know everybody goes through moods. Yeah, everybody does. Um like rappers? Who whoever. It could be whoever. Yeah, we give you the ability to choose anyone you want, but we yeah, we'll a lot give, of pressure. Yeah, well, I, we, we, you want you want to pick like one genre, yeah. to limit it down. Yeah. All right, do let's, rap. let's, let's do, do rap. rappers. Yeah, um, is that worse? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that shit is hard, man. Let's pick, let's 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 make it. Pick three. You three. gotta pick three. You about you stuck? The boat about to float away. This shit's nuts. Um, Isaiah Rashad. They, wow. Um, does he have? Kendrick Lamar, and um, shit, man, this one's really hard. 
Can I do like like Frank Ocean or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do that. You can that counts. Do that. That's counts. But it's like I also want like Bobby Caldwell. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but... like yeah, yeah. So fuck it. I'll do Isaiah Rashad, Kendrick, and Frank Ocean. Okay. I fuck with that. Yeah. That's like two thirds is TD. But does, does, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> does Shout Isaiah, out, does Isaiah Rashad have enough catalog to last you while you're on this island? I think it's quality ooh. enough. Yeah, yeah. That's the issue. Like, I think Isaiah Rashad like made me like the rapper I am today type mm, shit. Wow. So deep. Shout think, out. Yeah, shout out Zay for real. Like, yeah. If you ever watch this somehow, shout out. Yeah, like, we'll add <laughs> him. Hey, He'll yeah. see it. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. I was just thinking about that earlier. It's. I be. I, 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 I like let ego go a lot throughout my life, mm-hmm. so sometimes I'll be feeling like it's weird to like have to be fans of people to enjoy their music or just to enjoy whatever their talents are. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. Well, at least in my opinion, I feel like it's okay to enjoy somebody and to be a fan of them yeah. if they're good at what they do or they put their, uh, you know, heart and soul and passion into you know into their passion or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it comes out and you like it, then it should be like you know respected and you know shout out. But you know, yeah, anyway, when it, whenever it comes to Isaiah niggas, Rashad, I feel like um, it's like the projects he already did drop, like they just meant so much to me. Immortal, like They're yeah, immortal, like listening yeah. all the way from like you like that type of shit, huh? So what? fucking good. Sylvia bro. demo, <laughs> it's the best shit. Ever. Sylvia demo is like twelve <laughs> out of ten, literally. In Sun- every song and bangs. Sun- Sun- is like a twelve. Every movie, yeah, so every song like, is the fucking fan, fire. The yeah, out of all the pieces lyrics. Of a kid even, yeah. Like, yeah. Before, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. So like, yeah, shout out, yeah, he. I don't even need them. Or me. No, I mean even <laughs> even with Kendrick, it's like in the know, section eighty fucking yeah, yeah everything no. leading up to his and um, studio. Yeah, albums. I think those are three artists that could like do no wrong in my eyes, right? Type shit. Right. So yeah, I, I think I would pick those three. Okay. But Isaiah Rashad is my favorite rapper. All right, Shout perfect. Out. I'm gonna take the wheel off the table, and then I got a couple questions for you, and I'm sure Kevin has some stuff for you. Go for it. Yeah. Um. So. We talked about getting into music. Uh, you got into it when well, you got into it once you were in Pittsburgh, right? Yes. All right, and then you start just rapping, just like what? Was you freestyling? Was you doing some other shit? What would you? What were you up to? All right, like so lead us, like walk us through the whole thing. I got you. All right, so this is this is how it happened. I was going to high school, right? Penn Hills High School. Penn Hills. Yeah, it's called Penn Hills High School. And um, people knew me as, like, a sneakerhead, right? And a jerker? Yeah. Well, no, nah, no. Nah, I was a jerker in middle school. Oh, okay. Jerking's okay. dead, but I don't. Okay. You stop jerking. Yeah, yeah. I'm off jerking. <laughs> at first, I wanted to be a dancer. I'm no, throwing my at first I wanted to, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at first, I wanted to skateboard. Then I wanted to be a dancer. Then I was like, fuck it. I'm a rapper. Okay. So that's how it happened. So now, high school, I'm at the rapper era. So in high school... A lot of people already know me as a rapper because I just be rapping and shit. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't even got no songs out, but people know I'm a rapper because, like, at this time, I was really, like, confident. In you battling niggas? Yeah. You pulling up shit. like, hey, nigga. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you got bars? You got bars? Exactly. Like, I'm what like, you? nigga, I heard you could rap, nigga. <laughs> you got a car? Like, I got bars. How could you? I'm like, how could you rap if I could rap? Like, that don't <laughs> even make sense to me. We, so, we, so, yeah, there was You were times, really coming. There was times my lunch table literally would, like, follow me to a nigga. And we, we sit down at his lunch table, <laughs> and we're like, nigga, it's on. Like, That's So I sit down, body the shit out of that nigga, and I'm just like, right, bullying, him. I'm bullying these rap niggas, right? Shout so, out high school confidence, because so, so it was a, foolish. So listen, there was a time, this is this is like my first, my first like, thing. Like, it's like, yo, everybody know about this shit. Everybody who's anybody knows about this shit in Pittsburgh. So I was in 11th grade. It was my junior year. I'm not going to say any names, but... Me and my homie walked up to these two niggas like, yo, I dare y'all to diss us. Like, oh, on some shit like that, just out of nowhere. Like, they rap. So we're like, savage, we're yeah. like, yo, I dare y'all to diss us. Fuck you. It's Willis and Brian, bitch. Like that. <laughs> like, like just wilding, right? And oh, they're like, crazy. they're like, man, fuck y'all. And these niggas really dissed us. So I'm like, what the fuck? These niggas really Damn. dissed us. So yeah, they dissed us and shit. And, like, nigga was saying some wild shit, too. Like, I, I remember some of the shit he said, too. Like, like he's like... What, was he, you feeling he, some type of way? Really? Hell yeah, because it wasn't even true. Like, he's like, you remember that one time I beat you up in the alley? And he's <laughs> like, you say you're from Pittsburgh, but your bitch ass is from Cali. Like, type shit like that. I'm oh. like, yeah, like some dumb ass shit like that. So I'm like, nigga, fuck you. Suck my dick, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> respectfully, so, respectfully. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, cool. 
we gotta get these niggas back. <laughs> <laughs> I get these niggas. And we're man. young as fuck. Like we're like 16, 17, whatever. Like, so we diss these niggas back, right? Mm-hmm. The next day type shit. Cause we don't got time to waste. Type shit. Up. Like, yeah, we hop right back in that type of beef because we're really like that. You know what I mean? Built so, like that. <laughs> yeah, we're really like that. Yeah. So we diss these niggas back, and I'm on some shit like, bro, I gotta make this shit like eleven minutes. I'm on some for, game shit. Yeah, on some wild shit, right? So, shout bars. out the game. Oh my god. It was super Still wild. Classic. Some yeah. insane test records. It's just like that. Albums like, worth. So I'm rapping, saying some off the wall, lyrical ass, lyrical miracle ability type shit. Nice. And my homies wilding too. We're just wilding. This song is way better than their song. Yeah. But the kicker was the end of the song, my nigga. Cause at the end. Around that time, I think I was listening to like other diss tracks to like really motivate me. So I'm just I'm listening to Ether. I'm listening. Up. I'm listening to Hit 'Em Up. I'm listening to all types of shit. Ooh. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm a Tupac. Hit 'Em Up, these niggas. So at the end, I'm like, nigga, fuck you. Fuck your grandma. Fuck your great grandma. Oh, dead or alive, bitch. Your I don't give a fuck. Like I'm wilding, right? <laughs> nigga, and fuck I'm, your recipe. Yeah, nigga, yeah fuck bro. All I'm that. saying I'm saying some off the wall foul <laughs> shit, bro. I'm just like, yeah, nigga, suck my dick. And if you got a problem, fight me, right? And that was just it. Like, I was like, fight me. So in the comments of the song after I uploaded that shit, nobody gave a fuck about their song no more. They're like, yo, my homie Brian, Shaw Brian, what up, Brian? My homie Brian, they're like, yo, Willis and Brian won. Like, that's it. Like, they just, they flat out. They flat out fucking won. So after that, we're starting to get comments, like, from the surrounding school districts and (laughs) shit. Like, yo, this is Erica from Plum High School. We're blasting this in the hallways. Like, like this shit's getting popping in, like, you know, the area school districts and shit. So, Mm -hmm. like, you know, the 20-minute out schools and shit. So I'm like, yo, we're fucking famous. You can't tell us shit. (laughs) It's over. So at that point, the niggas who we dissed are feeling a type of way. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So... I guess at the end of the song, I'm like, if you got a problem, fight me. And the nigga had a problem type shit. So you really so, want to fight. So listen, bro. We're like chilling in class. Our guidance counselor is in class. And she's oh, they like, went to the same school? Yeah, we went to the same school. Yeah, I, remember fuck. I was on some wild shit. I'm like, yeah, yeah nigga. Like, nigga you know where I be no, at, nigga? No Eighth cap. period, nigga, pull up. <laughs> 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 like some shit like that. So she's giving her little guidance counselor shit, telling us what colleges to go to, you know, all that shit. And I'm just sitting there, and he's, like, mad as fuck in the corner somewhere because niggas is like, yo, you just going to let Willis say that shit to you? They're just hyping it, instigating. And he walks up to me like, yo, I want to fight you. And I'm like, no, you don't. And he's like, I don't. And I'm like, no. He's like, I'm about to punch you right now. And then I'm like, no, you're not. High school beef. Yeah, yeah. I'm. He's like, yeah, I'm like, no, you're not. And he's like, I'm not. And I'm like, no. And then. He swung and missed, and I just beat this nigga's ass. Like, Shout out to that like, on was, top of that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> on top was, of the record. I wasn't even mad. I'm like stomping on him and shit, all types of wild ass shit. My yeah. guidance counselor was like, "Stop, stop, Anthony, stop!" And I just stopped because I wasn't even mad to begin with. I right. just had to calm that nigga down because he was really wilding out. So <laughs> while he's on the ground, I'm walking out of class and shit, and I'm on the way to the office because I'm about to get suspended because I just beat a nigga up. <laughs> But the issue is, like, nobody's mad at me because I didn't even start the fight. He dissed me first. I That's just true. dissed him back. And it was all retaliation. Yes, yeah. yes. So You're not provoking. So, yeah, beat that nigga up. He came down to the office and shit just on some mad ass shit with, like, bumps in his head, all wild and shit. But got the, fun, lumped. the funniest part about it was... Speed what, knots. The funniest part about it was when I went to the principal's office... The fucking principal played the song. Like, he played the diss song to see what wow. made him do it. So he's listening to the Shout song. The principal's principal. like, this is yes. fire. Yeah, it, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. He's he like, ate, he ate the he's like, guidance up. counselor in here. <laughs> the principal's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I see why he wanted to fight you. He's like, going like, to be famous. Yeah, yeah. The principal's like, yeah. <laughs> this nigga on the sun. <laughs> he's like, I see why he wanted to fight you. This makes sense, man. <laughs> Principal knocked like, him out. And, and yeah, like, everybody was just fucking with me. He's like, yeah, my son raps too. Check him out. You should collab with him. And it, like shit What's like that. What's your socials? Yeah, yeah. On some shit like that. So I'm like, all right, nigga, I got you. So I'm fucking with at them. Me. We're just in the office me. laughing. And the nigga I beat up's coming in the office and shit behind me. Oh, my me. God. Like, I'll beat your ass. Did he kill himself? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm getting to it, bro. I'm getting to it. So, <laughs> so he walks in the principal's office like, man, Willis, I'll beat you the fuck up. And the principal says some slick shit like, oh, it doesn't look like you'll beat him the fuck up because he had bumps on his head and shit. Wow. Shout so out to that principal. the worst high school yeah, yeah, Shout yeah, out to PA principals so, who so is making point, God jokes. At that point, 
we we're both suspended for ten days automatically. <laughs> so so I'm walking to the I'm walking to my locker to get my shit because I'm suspended for ten <laughs> yeah. days. You know what I'm saying? And the security guards walking me to the office. Right. And everybody's just laughing because while the security guard is supposed to be lecturing me about fighting, right. he's like, I don't know, man. You just got to work on your flow. Like oh like my. he's like. <laughs> Giving, he's like giving, giving me, them pointers. Yeah, he's giving me advice and shit for the disc because he even heard it. And the whole fucking school heard the shit. He's like, look, you so, got bars. Yeah, but yeah. He's like, you got bars, but your cadence. We you got work you gotta work on your cadence. You gotta tweak you a little. Yeah, so so he's walking me in my locker, I'm getting my shit, and the nigga who I beat up, his girlfriend walks past me and she's like This is a whole she's movie. A, right she's here. staring at me. Yeah. And I'm smiling at her. Like, yeah, I just beat your boyfriend. I just beat your nigga up. This dick. Yeah, I just I just whooped his ass. I'm that nigga's this, dad. This guy became a cop. Yeah, There's yeah. No so way. I'm like, I'm like, I just beat that nigga the fuck up. Holy shit. And she's like, I'll fucking kill you. And I'm like, no the fuck you yeah, wrong, bitch. Had, he had a down ass bitch though. Shout out yeah, to yeah, her. Yeah, nah, Shout was, out to them high, They probably got two kids right now. She really rode she really rode for them. They probably got two kids. Yeah, so I'm like, no the fuck you won't. So after that, you know, our court date comes up and shit. Wait, wait, court we, date? We like, got to go to court for fighting in school. Like right? actual, like, like... Literal court. Like, court, we got to go yeah. to court. Like, like Commonwealth? Yeah, we got to work out the fines, et cetera, et cetera. Like, there's all types of shit we got to go about when we fight in school in PA. Right. So... It's a Commonwealth state, right? I guess. I don't know, man. I just know about okay. credit, bro. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, ask him about bankruptcy. Yeah, ask me about that shit, nigga. I don't know shit about what you're talking you. about. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so... We go to court, and he's at the stand first to tell his side of the story, right? But all the judge wants to know is who hit who first, because he threw the first punch. You know oh, what I'm saying? Right, and then it's self-defense. So, yes, yeah. So then it's just self-defense at that point. So he's up there like, well, there was this dish, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's playing the, the song? Yeah, and the judge is like, I don't care about what you are talking about. I don't care who threw the first punch. And he's like... I don't like the way you're talking to me because this dude don't know how to talk to judges and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he's just, the judge is like, you're dismissed. You're done. Like, oh, so he's just mad at me. Oh, my God. Him. So I go up to the stand <laughs> and I'm like, he threw the first punch and I dodged it <laughs> and I threw him on the ground and I stomped on him because I thought he'd keep getting up trying to interrupt clutch. Yeah. That was my exact story. And the judge is like, thank you, yeah. Anthony. <laughs> like some shit like that. So he fined me 150 He fined that nigga like $500. Oh my and that God. nigga got expelled. And it was just fucked up. Deeper than that. Yo, yeah, yeah. It got, he hella, it up. got hella fucked up. And literally when I came back to school, niggas was calling me like Muhammad Ali and shit. <laughs> And yeah. niggas was like, yo, he's the best rapper in the school. You can't fuck with him because he'll diss you and beat you the fuck up. And after that... that came in on the school <laughs> yeah. on the float. Yeah, that nigga that, said, I'm that guy. Yeah, and after that, I was like, yeah, I'm the rapper in Penn Hills. And then I like started going up to people's lunch tables and shit. Like, nigga, you can't rap. And I would just battle them and shit. Wow. But it was all love at the end of the day. Like, I fuck with everybody. But I was definitely on some shit. But I'm not like that no more. Got it. So, yeah, that was around the time when I knew, like, yo, I think I could do this rap shit. And then <laughs> after that, I uh, graduated, went to college. What and, college? Um, I went to Cal U. So it's California University of Pennsylvania, ironically. Fire. Yeah, so I went there and... Um, wow, that, how much how much, bar by, how much ball biting is that? That's it, crazy. It, it's super ball biting. That's crazy. But, yeah, around that time, man, um, I met these producers. They're called 1-800, so... That collective was Cody Maimon, Don Pompicelli, and Jeremy Rossinger. And, um, yeah, they were just dope-ass producers, and they really wanted to work with me, but they were focused on graduating. But I didn't give a fuck about graduating. I'm just like, I'm trying to network. Hey, <laughs> yeah, so, I need them beats. So, yeah, I, um, I ended up taking this African-American history class, and I had this professor. His name was Professor Edmonds. Cool as fuck, kept it real. About he was black, everything. right? Yeah, he was black. Okay. Hell, he was black. <laughs> I'll we used to watch, sure we used to watch the Roots in that nigga's class. Was, <laughs> so yeah, shit was solid, and he used to just kick game to me the right way. You know what I mean? And um, I remember because I was going to school to be a teacher. I was going to school to be a secondary education English teacher. Wow. And um, my teachers were on strike. And I remember talking to some of my professors, and they're like, why the fuck do you want to be one of us? We're on strike right now. Like, we, we aren't even being We don't get right. money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't so, pay us. So Professor Edmonds basically just told me, like, nigga, drop out. Like, pursue your dreams. Straight so, up. And, Shout out. And after that, I just dropped out. 1-800 graduated, and I started making music with them. You started making Go? Yeah, yeah. That was whenever I made Go. And then drop go go did pretty well like around the city around the state and even outside of the state and then it was funny as fuck a year later we get invited back up to the college to give like a seminar with charlemagne and shit 
<laughs> like about oh. dropping out of school and pursuing your dream. Oh my god! Hey. And after that, I was like, yeah, nigga, like this music shit's working, and yeah, here I am. Wow. And then that led you to what? That led you to get heard by Rostrum, and then you got signed. Like, talk about that. Yeah. Um, the way I got heard by Rostrum, um, my manager Q, uh, he was really close with Mac Miller. Like, they were just Shout out Mac. like, rest like this. Like, R. R. Yeah, rest in peace for sure. They were they were hella close, best friends. Um, he managed Mac. He was his hype man. He he did a ton of shit for him. So he had a huge relationship with Rostrum already. So uh, he he hit me up because one of my homies told him about me, and he hit me up like, "Yo, bro, you should come through and like play me some shit type shit." So I I went to his house, and um, I was playing some playing him some shit. He loved it, and he was just on some shit like, "Yo, like, what do you want to do next?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I feel like I need a manager." And he's like, "Motherfucker, I'm right here." <laughs> and then I'm like, "Oh shit, you want to manage it's me? Mean. Like, I'll fuck with you." It's me, no cap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So. He started managing me, and he sent my unreleased album to Rostrum, and they loved it, and yeah, they're like, yeah, I'll fuck with you, and yeah, here Shout I am. out to my guy, Kobe, over there, too. That's my boy. Gang shit, gang shit. Shout out. Right <laughs> so, we always like to ask artists, like, is there a question that, you know, no one's ever asked you that you've wanted to be asked? Like, what's your, like, you know... That's what a good you, question. Yeah. What do you... Or is there like a un? I don't want to throw you off. Go ahead. If you can't think of anything, I got an alternative. Uh, what's your alternative? Because I, I was gonna keep say my man with him at the same time. Okay, I was basically gonna ask. Or is there like a hidden talent about yourself that nobody knows? Like, do you do you, do you make pottery? Do you make pots at nighttime? Are you a pasta maker? Do you, do you know how? Do you know how to do cartwheels? And I'm like, like tuck super flips? good at video games. No cap, I'll me and Gabe, Streamer our producer, will we'll line you up. Like, no. Nah, What's your look, Twitch? This is the thing. Like, you you saying y'all will line me up? <laughs> what kind of games though? Because nah, li- it's two different type it, of niggas. Whatever you want, but listen. Damn. This is the. This is cap. the. This is the, this is the issue. This is the diff- this is the difference want. between me and you. Because off top, you're on some defensive shit. Like, no, I'm, just, I'm teasing. I just like to talk shit. It's like, it's like think, playing basketball. It's like you think you're good, right? No, I'm not Let's good. Let's run 2K. I'm capping. Do you guys have the... I'm really good at 2K, but that's nor here nor there. Oh. But it's like at the... thought I was good. I could have became like a famous YouTuber for sure. Like I had like a top Yo. Modern Warfare 2 clan and shit. Like I was really out here trick shot and all types of wild ass <sighs> shit, right? And we were literally getting invited to like MLG tournaments and wow. shit. Like that's what the cash is at right yes, now. Yes, I know, and I could have took that route. So yeah, I'm super good at games. Is really, it just like natural to you? Yeah, like I think. How old are you? Uh, I'm 23. Oh, so yeah, yeah. you kind of like grew up like in like. Yeah, this. yeah. So I think it was some shit like um, if I like set my mind to something, I could become really, really good at it for sure. So that's definitely a hidden talent. Like, like niggas are like, yeah, man. I'm so good at soccer. I dedicated my life to this. And I'm like, that's cool, nigga. Like, if I dedicate my life, if I dedicate my year to it, I'll probably get as good as you. <laughs> I like that determination. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's a good and, vibe. And yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I'm pretty good at, I'm I'm good at shit. I'm real, like, lucky and shit. And a lot of shit, like, usually works out in my favor, for sure. But uh, what was your question? I want to answer that, too. So what's a question that you haven't been asked, but you've wanted people to ask you? You know, what's... What's something you've mm-hmm. wanted to divulge? I feel like not enough people ask me, like, how am I? You know what I mean? Like, oh, not, they yeah. ask, they ask like, how are you as an artist? They yeah. ask, like... How you doing mentally? Yeah, what's going like, on? that's what i rather... What's like, under that babe? <laughs> what's under that babe hat? Besides yeah. bars. What, yeah, uh, what's besides going on in bars your head? and beat selection, you know? Yeah. Nah, but yeah, yeah. I, how I, are you holding up? I think I wish more people would, like, care more about rappers, like, well-being and right. shit. Because whenever shit goes bad... For rappers and like they go crazy or some they go crazy <laughs> crazy or yeah. some shit or like they killed themselves or like something really bad happens people are always so fucking surprised but it's like right if a lot of interviewers just ask rappers like yo is you good like right. then maybe are, okay would know so the question more. is are you good no nah. <laughs> yeah definitely are you not. in a fucked up headspace for real? like do you have like, yeah yeah i think so is it like because of the energy of the world right now no nah. yeah it was way before that okay. yeah definitely way before that but the energy of the world definitely gets to me too right. do you have any releases um music i guess that's about it though. do you like ride bikes or do yoga or i like jog that? okay nice. Yeah, every morning like yeah. walking distance like a couple miles uh usually like three 
Okay, that's like good. That's a good. That's a good. Yeah, that's great. I, I try. I no, lost I, a lot of weight and yeah. shit. But then I learned, like, yo, I still have high blood pressure, right? Like, after I'm eating healthy, after I'm jogging, doing everything properly, I still have high blood pressure. So right. it kind of proves that it's possibly stress. Right. You know, so, yeah, there's definitely a lot of days, like, a lot's on my mind, and, you know, like, a lot's, like, going wrong and shit. But I'm just hoping for the best and shit, as every rapper I, is. I think it's not only rappers, but I think people in general, it's like people just hope for the best in general. And yeah, just I, think, I think more people should talk about, like, days they feel, like, hopeless and shit. Yeah, I think think there is how do I say this? You have to take that energy and just make it I feel like as a person or or in my opinion, right? It's easier said than done. You have to take that like upside down energy or the energy that makes you want to stay in bed or feel a certain type of way. Mm-hmm. You need to reroute that energy into doing something positive. Like Definitely. I think I think that's just my opinion. Easier said than done, but Heavy gyms, take yeah. that, take your job. Sure. I'm not. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with being sad. Yeah, I, I don't think yeah. anyone yeah. says that. No enough. cap. For sure. Cry, take yeah. a fucking night off. Yeah, yeah. I think. Um, Smoke a fat one. Just chill. Like, yeah, like know? a lot of times, like I'll make a song like, like funeral, right? But right. then like I'll make a song where I'm turned up, like I'll fuck your bitch tomorrow. Yeah. Like, and eat a burrito. Yeah, that's like some wild shit. And like both people, are hard. Yeah, yeah, both are hard. I'll eat like, chicken, bacon, yeah, taquitos like, from Seven yeah, Eleven, and I'll fuck your bitch. Exactly, and it's like both are how I felt at that moment. You know, so right? I think more people should be open to understanding that humans are a lot more complex and feel a yeah. lot of different ways than just this one way that rappers supposed to be portrayed. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, I definitely be having hard ass times, hard ass days, and. I'm here to talk to anybody else who does, you know. So that's definitely something I stand for. And yeah. with how the world is now, I feel like th- this is the best time for people to talk about exactly what they're thinking and exactly how they feel under that mask that they wear. Absolutely. In the words of Zach Fox, shout out mental illness and depression. Exactly. Shout, shout out, out Zach I got Fox. depression. <laughs> yeah. You know, okay. Fuck yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, man. Definitely. Thank you for telling us your story. Thanks for having me, man. Uh, be sure to tap in, uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell, sure. and we're fucking tapping out. Back on that ass. Back on that ass. Back on that ass.